Hello, this is Ian with DC Digital, and today we're going to be showcasing our DC 405 TDN Negative W Countdown Timer. This order is going out to Jordan Corporations, which is a machinery development industry that makes carriers, wreckers, rotators, anything involving construction work. How it will be used, it will be used to regulate the workflow without having the time stop on its own, meaning it's going to show how long the time has passed since when it was last set. How this works is the client sets the time to count down from with our wireless remote controller. Once the timer reaches zero, the timer counts upward while displaying the negative sign. So now I'm going to showcase the functions on how this timer is meant to work. So as you can see in my hand here, we have our wireless handheld remote controller that allows us to set the hours, set the minutes and seconds. It can also reset it to the last value that it was set to, and it can reset everything back to zero. And it can also start and stop the countdown timer. So first things first, we're going to set the hours. So we press set hours. And as you can see, it's currently incrementing by ones and it'll stop once you press the set hours button again, and that will set the number of hours to count down from. So I'm going to press set hours. And as you can see, we have a total of 29 hours that are currently set right now. So now I'm going to set the minutes. So I just press set minutes like I just did. And that's counting upward as well. Same, it's the same method as the set hours function. Just press it again to stop. And as you can see, we have 29 hours and 22 minutes that are currently set. So now I'm going to press the set second button. And as you can see, it's shifted from 29 to 22, and this is 22 minutes. And this is the seconds that's going to count down from. So now I'm going to press the set seconds button again, and we have a total of 22 minutes and 26 seconds that we are going to count down from. So now that we have our time set, we're going to press the start and stop button to start the countdown. As you can see, it's slowly counting down by one hundredth of a second. Press the start and stop button again to stop the time. As you can see here, we have our last value button, and this allows it to reset it to the last value that it was set to. So I just press this button right here. And as you can see, it resets everything back to the way it was when we previously set it to. And our zero reset button resets our set time back to zero. I'm going to press the zero reset button. So now I'm going to showcase what happens when the timer reaches zero. So I'm going to set it for five seconds and I'm going to press start and stop to start the time. It's counting downward and once it reaches zero, it will start counting upward. And as you can see here, it will also display the negative sign. And this means that the allotted time has already passed and it's just letting you know this is how long it's been counting upwards since it's reached zero from the time that you count it down to. So going over the hardware aspect of this model, we have our tough 14 gauge aluminum black powder coated fingerprint resistant casing. Its display size is four inches and it can be viewed up to a total of 200 feet. The number of digits it has is six digits, though really it's displaying five digits because this area right here is blacked out and it can display a total of 99 hours, 59 minutes and a hundredth of a second. And then it counts back upward with a negative sign in front of it. Its power type is a 120 to 240 V AC wall adapter with a six feet cord. For mounting, we have our eight teardrop slotted knockout tabs on the back side of the enclosure. And lastly, for accessories, we have our WRC6T wireless handheld remote controller with six different functions, and it can be operated at a range of 1,500 feet outdoors and 300 feet indoors. So again, this is Ian with DC Digital demonstrating our DC405 TDN negative W countdown timer with a wireless remote controller. Thanks for watching.